Hello guys, welcome back to another Death Frontier video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my pistol looter build. Timestamps are gonna be down below in the description, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so let's start off by skills first, as always. We have Sprinter 5. Uh, Why Sprinter? I was always a Sprinter, I prefer Sprint. Um, I just like it more than Jogger. You can go for Jogger if you want, or you can combine it both as what I have. Uh, Going for any of these two is completely alright, and combining them is also alright, as what I'm doing. Mill 5 for that uh, extra inventory capacity, which helps us a lot, since we are a looter, we need uh, quite a lot, shall I say, inventory capacity, uh, or inventory slots, so that helps a ton. Looter 5 for the search speed, find unique, find elite, find superior, find uh, where it doesn't matter that much. Reloading 5 for that reload speed and M capacity, which we really need. Maximum 5 for that aim speed and maximum accuracy helps us a lot, so I highly suggest you get these two skills. I head under 5 for that headshot uh, damage, which we really need, because we are focusing on headshot damage in this build. Pistol Expert, because we are using pistols in this build. Jugger 5, like I said, uh, I like it combined with Sprinter, so I have it, you don't have to get it if you don't want to. Especially in this build, it's, you can go for something else if you want, like... Whatever suits your playstar and, you know... Gameplay in general, you can go for that, but I like Jogger. Uh, I also got Fast Slinger 5 because I like to kill things so I can farm enhancers uh, while I'm killing zombies and things like that. So I find it really useful. So if you're gonna do the same build as I am, uh, if you have pretty much the same playstyle, I highly suggest you get the Fast Slinger. Same for Exterminator, uh, it's a dam, it uh, helps us, you know, it's damage against infected, which is zombies, uh, which we really need for the build as what we have. So we can one shot most of the enemies. So yeah, I highly suggest you to get this. Quick shot five uh, also for that aim speed and attack speed. Uh, attack speed doesn't matter that much. I mean, it can help if you miss sometimes, but aim speed will helps a lot. So, I mean, both are useful sets. So, but you don't have to go for quick shot if you don't want. But I suggest you to get it just in case if you miss things like that. It's gonna be really helpful to you know attack faster. Uh, and quick reflexes too. Uh, we have um, two points into quick reflexes. I didn't know what else to put into uh, those points. Uh, those this uh, I have put in uh, two points into quick, ref quick reflexes and um, five points into the jogger. Those are my prestige uh, level skill points. I'm prestige seven on this character, so those, I put jogger five and quick reflexes uh, the prestige uh, skill points. Those are the skills. Let's move on to the build. This is our stat stick. You can see we have find ammo, sprint speed. Uh, those are the stats that matter to us. I'll explain everything uh, once I show you the, the items what we have. Uh, this is our pistol, our damage dealer. We're using a lit slinger, which is called uh, 1945, which uses uh, uh, 45 cold rounds. As you can see, those are stats headshot, search speed. Reload speed damage is infected, so those are the stats you want on your gun or your primary weapon or damage dealer. Uh, Alright, this is our helmet. A damage is limited, it doesn't matter, but search speed, headshot, find ammo chance really matters, and that's something what you want. We're gonna focus on search speed, headshot, find ammo, damage versus infected, um, shall I say, on your weapons and your. Uh, Gloves and headpiece. Also, some ability sets in your weapons if you can get so. This is our gloves and backpack chance, which does matter and it's not really good, but it is what it is. The gloves had uh, the sets, I was like, alright, why not buy them? Search speed, aim speed, which helps us a lot. Find ammo chance, really important in this build. 47 ammo capacity and 42 headshot. You know, so, really good stats and really helpful. I, I would say, really good gloves. So you want to get something like that. And the leather jacket, nothing special. I have this jacket because of inventory and visibility range. I really like that. And you know, you don't have to get visibility range, just the inventory itself is more than enough. Also, what you can get is like incoming damage and health, just in case if you get attacked uh, by the enemy, so you do not get one shot by the zombie. So this is the jacket. Uh, I'm using Olympian track bottoms uh, as my legs. Uh, I have webbing pouches on them also. You do not have to use the same leg piece as what I have. You can go for something else with like triple sprint stats 
or like you know without the jog you can go triple sprint stats and like some inventory capacity or you can go like jog speed inventory capacity and some other stats you know like whatever suits your playstyle but I, I i was i, I want to be fast so i went for them since i have them right so when i use them uh but yeah you don't have to go for them uh so you can you can make the build as uh, cheap as you can all right um track runners also you do not have to go for them you can go just for triple sprint uh Speed, uh, you know triple sprint stats or just jog speed and something else if you want like footsteps nice radius touch cooldown whatever same for the legs like i said you don't have to go for these two you can go for something else so the build is cheaper in general the the build is quite cheap you'll see um i'm not gonna be talking about uh uh build uh price because what i've realized when i do the videos the prices like they change quite fast so like uh there's no point in doing you know build price because it's like they change the prices change uh so yeah i'm not gonna be doing that i'm not gonna say how much this build is gonna cost but i on for some other builds like example like i don't know whatever you want to build like some example like visibility uh build is gonna be quite expensive example this is quite cheap but we have two variations which i'm gonna show you and explain you right so those are the uh this is our first variation, right? Is what I showed, right? I'm gonna show it once again. This first variation, right? You can pause the video so you can see the stats, right? I'm gonna show you the full stats for the first variation also. So let me show you. So primary weapon damage dealer, all right? Here. You can pause guys, just pause the video. Other stats. Right. So as you can see we have um seventy one damage versus infected and we have thirty nine point seventy six which makes it uh, close to seventy hatch damage to the infected which helps us to one shot pretty much all the infected except uh, the tentacle um, fat male and female and also if they are irradiated we cannot one shot them everything else is one shotable so that's for the option one let me show you the option number two all right I'm gonna switch I'm gonna remove these two on the option number two we're using the uh, air cold police that's our damage dealer and our static is a little called uh, 1911 so let me show you the statistic as you can see we have find superior item chance sprint speed damage was infected here and find weapon chance uh, instead of uh, find ammo chance and sprint speed on as it is on the uh, attacker or however you want to pronounce it say it so there's a difference and on our very cold police we have search speed hatch at and sprint duration here in, in this um variation you lose a bit of um find ammo chance but you, you are faster here and you also lose a bit of a search speed just a tiny bit but you're faster here your mobility is higher here you have uh extra find superior item chance find weapon chance uh and extra sprint duration so you are faster with this uh, uh two points more into sprint speed so you're faster with this variation but also what changed here we're using 40 uh sw rounds which are much cheaper than 45 cold rounds but i prefer to use the uh lead slinger as uh i prefer to use 45 because i have easier time uh, like killing things and I, I just feel it's better it's just in my opinion like like if you look but if you low on a uh, cash uh, I suggest you use 40 as uh, W rounds so but if you have cash you can go for 45 uh, both are gonna be good I'm gonna show you now the full stats all right so this is our primary weapon damage dealer we have 42.9 under stats Pause guys once again. You can see we have 86 sprint speed, 129 sprint duration, and 64 sprint cooldown. All right. As you can see here, 
we have 83 fine ammo chance while on the other option we had 120 something so we lose 40 around 40 uh, fine ammo chance uh, on this variation I mean you're gonna find less ammo and yeah we're trying to make uh, or force the game to give us as much as fi uh, ammo we can because ammo is uh, probably the best way of making cash right now uh, and why not use it right it is the best definitely the best uh, way of making cash um, the ammo is already common so any coming uh, having uh, any extra uh, find ammo chance is great so like it's really super common and it's really easy to find ammo so having any find ammo chance is really great so yeah this is this build is pretty much about find ammo chance Th that's what we farm here or lose shall I say right so I think I explained everything uh, pretty much here if I forgot something, I'm gonna add it on in, in the uh, after the gameplay and showcase of how the post variations work. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you now with the uh, gameplay, and I hope you enjoyed, guys.
so as you saw guys this is pretty much how the build works um, you do not have to kill every zombie is what I did um, you can go for you know we can just kill a few zombies loot I just like to kill them this like I like to kill them because of the experience but if you want to boot really fast uh, you can do it differently um, and also thing I did not forget about the giveaway guys don't worry uh, I'm gonna make a video tomorrow I'm gonna have it ready uh, I'll have requirements for giveaway I'll, I'll let you know everything guys so don't worry about it I did not forget about it and I'm sorry for for it taking me so long All right so um, where was I yeah uh, the build will not work in commerce really great it's gonna be not really not good in commerce I do not suggest you to use this build in commerce pros and cons there's not much talk to talk about pros and cons in this build like example for the first variation we're using a uh, called uh, uh, 1911 uh, the thing is it has faster reload speed uh, so it's easier to you know get back you know like get your ammo in your magazine in, so it's like you can re you reload faster pretty much simple as that what it says so it's like much easier to avoid getting hit like if if the enemy is like running towards you you'll reload really fast and you can kill it right but while it's with the police called the revolver he has a, a bit higher reload speed so it's gonna take you some time but still does uh, the job so like I said while I pick between these two variations if you have cash I'd go for the uh, for the uh, Bolt 1911 if you do not have cash uh, enough cash like I'd go for the police Colt. Uh so that's pretty much it what I have to say about this build I think uh, it's decent you know it's it, it can be better guys have that in mind this is not a full build it's just example to show you how we how we can work so you can get it much better guys have that in mind um and yeah uh also make sure you know you comment down below what you want me to do in the next video you know uh, uh like what kind of a looter builds you want me to do also like any kind of ideas you guys suggestions you have I, I'm, I'm always reading your comments guys i try my best I always try to uh, reply to each one of you because you guys really matter to me. This thing really matters to me. All of you, I love you a lot, guys. You have no clue, like, because I want to be doing this without you guys. So, yeah, guys, make sure you comment down below what you want me to do in the next video and, like, what kind of looter builds would you like me to do. Um, I already have one in plan, but I'll have to test it uh, to see how it does work. So this is probably going to be the next one that I have on my mind. But, yeah, guys, as always, you know, make sure... You will follow me on Twitch. Uh, everything's gonna be down in the description. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you know wanna know what's happening in my life and such things and my gaming life, you know what's happening in general. You know if you wanna find out. But if you wanna, you know, stay up to date with what's happening in my gaming life most of the time and what I'm doing and what I'm gonna do, you know, if you wanna chit, uh, chit chat with us, make sure you join my Discord called Jay-Z World, it's gonna be down in the description down below, link is gonna be down there. Also, make sure you join our community Discord called The Frontier, uh, which is based on The Frontier 2 called Cleanup Crew. Everybody's welcome, we have people from all around the globe. Uh, you can feel free to join us if you wanna learn about the game, we'll, we'll, we'll be more than glad to help, you know, and teach you about the game if we can. Also, don't forget to join official Death Frontier 2 Discord, uh, where you can find some really cool people also, you know, the official Discord of the game, I'll leave it also down in the description. So, that's it guys for this video, thank you so much for watching guys, as always, stay safe, and I'll see you in another video guys of Death Frontier 2, have a great one, peace.